Mark, a 3-1 win away at Notts County. How pleased are you with, with the result, if maybe not the performance? I'm pleased. I'm really pleased. It's a difficult place to come. Um, we didn't know what to expect, really, with the, the circumstances of what's happened. Um, so I picked a little bit more of a pragmatic, resilient team to start with and um, tried to get ourselves in the game, deal with the, all the hullabaloo that would be going on around it and, um, and tried to hit them later on. So um, we managed to get in front quite early on and um, I thought we were a better team, but we weren't as fluent today, but I'm pleased with it. Does that show the flexibility of this squad as well, that you can just little tweaks and, and change the whole formation? Yeah, we played three centre-backs today. We thought they played two up front, but they didn't. They only played one, which threw us a little bit and we, we quickly changed back to a four at the back um, uh, rather than waste three centre halves against one striker so um, we're constantly trying to help the players and, you know we're, we're hoping at some point you know that the, the more we, we work and try and coach and educate that they start to manage it themselves on the pitch and um, we have some good performances out there I thought the new boy from Middlesbrough was out of this world I thought it was incredible and um, we came away we scored three goals and so after selling your star striker to score three goals, it's, it's pleasing. You touched on McGinley there. How important was him, him coming into the side and putting in such a good performance straight out of the bat? I thought he looked as though he'd been there playing for years. You know, he looked really accomplished, really assured. I think he was the one that was probably leading the defence towards the end. And um, I'm really excited about his development. He's our player. You know, we own him. And, um, Looking forward to his development working with him. You knew the first goal would be important. A really nice worked team goal as well with Shepard in yeah. the space of the end to finish. Yeah, great, great little move and Shep. You know, our full backs are aggressive and uh, Shep's popped up in the box and, and smashed it in. And then obviously the sending off probably galvanises them a bit and it's all ends to the pump and we're trying to catch him on the break. We get the second. Should have had a penalty, blatant penalty again. We won't talk about that. Two penalties. Uh, and then Grobby misses a brilliant chance to, to finish it off. And obviously then they get back into it with John Stead, as brilliant as he is, doing what he does and what he's done for 20 years. The soft goal from our point of view. And then we kill it off with Grobby's brilliant finish at the end. You mentioned the, the second goal. How important was that, especially with the way that we've been playing recently, where we haven't quite got that yeah. second goal? And then the third as well. Of course, it's key. Obviously we have one disallowed. Uh, Faz, great header, disallowed for offside. Um, so it was important that we got that second and took the pressure off. 2 0, I hate that scoreline. It's one goal, changes it. All the momentum goes back, we're not. We have to then change our system and play three centre offs to deal with it. Uh, but luckily enough, we got the third goal to kill off. But you've been looking for that clinical edge, and three goals says we've got it today. Yeah, we could have been more clinical. We had chances, to, like I say, Grubby had a great chance. Willow was in two or three times, and we, we need to be finishing off. A win, still unbeaten, into the playoff positions now. Is that almost like a dream start for you to this season, or could you ask it's for more? It's a good start, that's all it is, though. You know, it's, it's a good start. We have to keep going. We have to. Players are a little bit frustrated that they probably didn't hit the standards they've reached in terms of the way we've played. But we'll settle for that if we keep getting 3 1 results away from home. Can we expect some changes for Tuesday in the checker trade? Yeah, I think we've got to. We, you know, we've got to. We've got players on the bench today like Campbell, Archibald. Uh, Williams, Grubb, uh, Worthington, Collins, Pierce, we've got to give them players some game time.